what is up guys welcome back to another video today we're going to be doing a little bit of top-down analysis on the weekly outlook for this week and uh so let's get to it so today uh let's look at s p 500 on the weekly um so we can see last week we were expecting a weekly expansion we came down took out uh last week's um weekly candles low and then we rallied higher. Um, I'm expecting us to possibly continue uh, bullish here as we have this uh, weekly void, this gap here. Um, if we look, if we were to look on ES, the futures, there is a true void here and a gap in price. So um, on s p it's a fair value gap here so i'm uh looking for us to continue bullish as we look at the uh we look at the dollar index we've we've come up into uh this fair value gap traded through it um so we could potentially uh come up here uh, this week and maybe sweep a little bit of this buy side and then continue back down into these PD rays below us. So we could uh, rally higher midweek and then reverse the, the end of the week. Or we could, uh, the dollar could potentially maybe uh, do some sort of uh, retracement and then continue up into this PD ray. So um, just to keep in mind on here, um, you can also look at the uh, the U.S. 10-year treasury bonds to get a better idea. So if we look on the weekly, we've uh, come up and tapped into this weekly fair value gap here on the, the bonds. Um, so we could go bearish from this PD array. Um, and we do have a lot of liquidity resting in this area down here. Um, we kind of got this little phantom trend line here um, as kind of a target probably for some liquidity uh, in this area, I'm, I'm guessing. So definitely, um, definitely kind of watching this um, to maybe we could also uh, tap into here right this fair value gap maybe uh bounce into here and take out this high or take out these lows and then come back up so just a possibility here for that so we go back to spx here um let's drop down to the daily and see what we got going on so we have this uh, daily fair value gap to the left here, up in here. And then this is that weekly imbalance. So the next uh, buy side we had was this swing high. And just as the market opened today, we tapped into this uh, fair value gap, respected 50% of this gap so far, and we're retracing. So uh, my guess is for the week, we're probably going to have uh, some sort of pullback maybe into this weekly mitigation block or this uh, the 50% of this weekly wick. So if we go to back up to the weekly, you can see this huge uh, weekly wick here. And so I just marked out 50% of this wick as a possible retracement to bounce off of. Uh, we could possibly drop all the way down and take out um, this low and these lows in here. Um, but so far I have this transposed on the daily. So we could get a, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, low of the week. Um, there's lots of news. There's lots of news this week. So if we look up, let's do Forex factory for the week. Um, lots of news this week. Um, Tomorrow, of course, is a bank holiday. 
um, no trading tomorrow. Tuesday, we have uh, red folder news right at 10 a.m., um, which is in line with our silver bullet. So we probably want to be very, very cautious, um, wait for for the uh, manipulation of volatility to kind of uh, dissipate or pass, or we might be able to use it to our advantage. On Wednesday, we do have, again, 10 a.m. right in the silver bullet window. So same thing there. Um, and then we have some orange some orange folders. And then Thursday, um, we have news early in the morning as well as news at 10, red folder news at 10 a.m. Again, same thing. So very volatile, uh, very volatile week this week. Lots of red folder news. So uh, we're going to be trading with a lot, a lot of caution here. So um, if we drop down to the four hour, um, we can see we have this four hour, these very clean lows on the four hour. So if we're going to drop here, um, we also have this weekly sell side. If you see a lot of these lows here are pretty clean. Um, there's a four hour fair value gap here that I'm seeing um, as a PD array that we could drop under into this week. So there's that. Um, and then of course, if we retrace here, we have this, uh, this four hour fair value gap, another gap in here. So if we measure this run, let's see here, this, this high so far, um, 50%, we would probably want a retracement if we use the bodies here, um, probably somewhere in here. So we have this, For our order block here. Uh, uh, and if you pair it here, combine the two, we have this order block, and then we also have this uh, four hour fair value gap in here. So um, just a couple PD rays right there. They're almost overlapping here. Um, we also have this huge wick here. So if we use this as uh, kind of a form of uh, imbalance here. 50% uh, of this four hour wick. So CE of this uh, four hour wick. Sell side imbalance, uh, buy side inefficiency. So, um, so a lot of uh, PD rates here under fifty percent of this uh, small price run up. If we continue bearish here in reverse, you can see here we we swept the buy side here and uh, wicked above. We closed candle body above, so we could uh, definitely retrace back down to equilibrium or just under equilibrium. Um, and look for areas to take some buys off of here, maybe uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on how price moves uh, overnight tonight and tomorrow. So we drop down to the one hour. Let me get rid of this uh, swing here. We drop down to the one hour. This is that four hour wick. So you can see here, this four hour order block lines up there. Um, have some sell side right in here. Lots of lows here to be taken out. So um, kind of feeling like this could be an area of interest to come down into um, and definitely retrace from. Let's measure this again here, the one hour. Yeah, so uh, we could come on this small little uh, order block there. Drop down to the 15 minute.
use that and drop down to 15 minute and see under 50 percent yeah Some relative equal highs here. So yeah, lots of liquidity here as uh, we kind of gapped up. Um, so let's look at ES. So this is our uh, new week opening gap now. So if we mark up this, it's where we opened. And then this is where we closed. We'll we make these orange. This is our new week opening gap. And then we want 50%. Here. And then we would just make this dashed here. So this is our current new week opening gap high. Copy this, and then this will be our opening gap low. So we will use this this week as a kind of a magnet here. So if we turn on the regular trading hours. Uh, we can kind of see those. Are, this is our opening gap. So yeah, so this that's kind of what we're expecting for the week. Uh, some some uh, bearish retracement, maybe some bullish continuation to end the week, or uh, yeah, we shall see how news affects. Um, and we will use Monday and Tuesday uh, to line up um, and see what the weekly profile is kind of going to give us, um, and see if we do dip down into some of these a. Uh, discount PD raise. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Trade safe.